Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to the edition of The New Bear Farm. Alright, we're going to have going on today. As you can see, this field is almost fully seeded. Uh, he ran out of seed a couple times <laughs> while this was happening. More than I thought it was going to, to be honest with you. Um, but that's okay. And we're just going to finish up this last little pass manually because apparently uh, the guy can't do it himself. No, it's because I had to re re -seed again, refill the seeder again. And because of that, because I had to refill the cedar, uh, was it two, three times now? Uh, what actually happened was um, I saved the course. No, I didn't save the course in course play, so I don't actually have the saved course, so I can't actually uh, continue with it. But it looks like that was, uh, I didn't realize there was that little bit left. Oh, that's terrible. Let's hop over to this guy real quick. He's just selling some cherries. There we go. And we'll go back to this guy. I think that's the only little piece that we missed. Ah, I put way too many seeds in here. Didn't realize there was only just a small piece like that. Might as well get this little part here. There we go. Whoops. Actually, we did a pretty good job considering. Or I should say, course play did a pretty good job considering. All right, let's return that. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go, perfect. All right, well, that was a waste of seats. Say love you. One of these days we'll buy our own cedar. Oh, I suppose we could actually just uh, sell some of our wood chips and make some more money, but that's no fun. All right, so let's just pull over to the side here real quick. And we'll turn this guy off for the time being. So our field has been We've joined the two fields. We've planted the two fields now, which is excellent. We have a few cows. Let's uh, bring up that information. Uh, so that was a thing we finished off with last episode. I almost said last class. Wow. Uh, <laughs> last episode. Uh, so what we do is we need some TMR. Uh, what's the best way to make TMR? We don't have any grass field. Actually, that's not true. We do have a grass field. Um, if we go up here. There is a grass field we could theoretically use, uh, which of course is the one that's in the cow pasture. We could use that uh, for some grass. We don't have any silage. So maybe, maybe what we'll do is we'll, next time around, uh, we have a couple options basically. Uh, we have a couple options. We can either do a silage harvest. Uh, so like, We go. We can either do a silage harvest and plant corn and do it that way, or we could set it up so uh, we do, or you could set it up so we do something else. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the what would be the best op, uh, option because we need TMR. So there's a couple different ways you can plant potatoes and get in both. Actually, in both cases, you need TMR. So we might be. Hmm choices. Uh, we can actually drop chaff off in our storage system. It's a possibility. So we could do it that way. Um, let's get our cows being a bit more productive. So I don't think our current tractor that we have right at this exact moment will be able to do what I want to do next. Uh, well, it will, just not as quickly as I would like. Hmm. We have these mowers, and we also have where's the other mowers I have? Oh, actually, we could rent one of those, those might work out really well. How much horsepower do you need? Doesn't even say $500 a day. Holy smokes! Yikes! All right, I just don't think it's gonna be. Uh, let me go check the field first because this is the problem. So, like, is it worth renting? an implement for a little tiny field and getting that or is it more worth I'm, I have a feeling it's not going to be more worth my time to uh, to go around and actually collect all the straw and uh, straw collect all of the uh, the grass in the field I don't think it's that big let's see here uh, that's not terror it's not that's not small actually that's large enough so it could actually make get a little bit of uh, grass from this. But I don't know if it's going to be efficient. Probably not. So, here's what we'll do. 
We'll accelerate time. We'll take care of this harvest here. That's going to take four days anyway, so. All right, let's go and do it one day forward and see what happens. All right, so moisture levels look good. Nutrients, le nutrient levels look good so far. This is good. If we come over down to this other part down here, this is the new part. So 47% moisture, that's good. Well, that's a different texture for canola. I don't think I've seen that one. 27% moisture. So moisture is a bit low over here. How on earth do we have this much of a, of a weed problem in the first stage? That's ridiculous. Look at this. This is the only spot too. Oh, because there's no weed prevention on this one. Oh, that's right. Ah, that's the problem. So low moisture. Nutrients are okay though, so that's good. Nutrients are okay. Excellent. Uh, we need to meet. What's the, I don't. I can't think of. I'm. Uh, there's a couple of different things I'm thinking of. I'm like I'm like torn between these two things. Um, oops. Uh, one of the things I'm torn uh, between is because let me just. Here we go. Uh, one of the things I'm torn between is I could harvest potatoes and make TMR in the bunker, which is uh, we do have a bunker on around here somewhere. I could do it that way and make TMR that way. I don't think there's a mixing station here already, so I can't do it that way. So uh, there's a bunker in the back there, though, and I could do it. Could do it that way. I could just yes. Hmm. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, make TMR with this guy right here, because what we can do is we can just put chaff down then put potatoes on top and that will make TMR with the Farcello mod but that means we need potatoes and we need chaff which we don't have either of which is a bit of a problem in this context hmm 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 yeah so I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wait oh, we can't wait on that though I don't, there's a way, I don't think there's a way to buy TMR here that'd be cool if there were uh, I think, let me just check some of the production facilities. There actually are a couple production facilities, uh, placeables I should say, but make TMR as a byproduct, and I'm just trying to remember which ones are which. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, 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 nope. No, uh, that's only 34, okay. We're not going to use that. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it either. Oh, it holds lime too. Interesting. This would make we could actually afford this. We need we all we need is seeds and liquid slurry and manure. Uh, we do have some of that now. This produces fuel, which is not the problem. Uh, that produces water, which we can't really use. Uh, no, so this is the one, or is it this one? No, it's this one. This actually does produce TMR, and so does this actually. But this produces all. This is way more expensive than we can afford. So, okay, well, guess that's not happening. All right, so this guy's doing his thing. Uh, so what we can do is, let's move this guy out of the way. So many choices to make. So many choices. There we go. So, we do have a little bit of manure, we do have a little bit of liquid manure, not not much. Uh, the nice thing about the soil mod is though, you do produce, in, you end up producing a lot more um, manure and liquid manure because you have to progress time like multiple days. Ursus on, excuse me, Ursus on sale. Toby Moby would be happy. Alright, so we're Sunday. Great demand, oh, we do have straw. Um, do we have any? I think we do have some stuff in storage. I think. I honestly have to check now. Wheat's 2x of the bakery, but do we have any wheat? No. We have wood chips. We have 184,000 liters of wood chips. And 71,000 liters of straw, but I don't think straw is worth trucking all the way out there. Alright. 
Uh, I think the only place where we have the weed problem is right there, and that's primarily because of our weed prevention is not very good on uh, this side of the field. So I think it's the only spot where I see weeds though, is this one right here. So we're okay for now. Darn weeds. Oh, soil moisture is way down here though too. So maybe we'll have to spray some water. Oh, no, there's some weeds there too. Hmm. It's interesting. It's kind of funny because the way it works with the soil mod, like they just randomly come up. Oh, there's more weeds over there. Maybe I should spray some herbicide down. I think herbicide, uh, liquid herbicide will also, uh, it should theoretically uh, increase the moisture level too. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. All right, let's go ahead and get a sprayer. Let's rent the sprayer. Yeah, I have, I don't know. I really should buy one of these things. I've used this thing so many times. It's not funny. All right, let's grab this guy. And it's funny because what's happened is uh, I've realized that more than one episode has been spraying just because the way the soil mod works. And this guy is at the cell point. There we go. And it's just the way the soil mod works though. So like, it's it, the funny thing is because like if you don't, Let's raise that up. Or wrong. There we go. Um, because I have well, more than one thing. Like there's more. It's not one scenario where you actually have to uh, to spray your fields. So for example, you need to spray your fields if you need to spray your fields if you want to uh, fertilize. If you want to moisture, give them moisture. Many different reasons. So. Let's just reset this guy real quick. There we go. I think one of the things we'll have to do next is, uh, oops. We're definitely gonna have to buy a sprayer because this is becoming slightly, like from a money standpoint, like this is the most efficient way because we only cost, like I still probably, I rented this thing like I don't know how many times now, but I probably still haven't, um, I still haven't used, I still haven't, um, it's like $150 a time, so I'd have to rent it more times, a lot more times before it becomes not efficient to use to rent it for an hour. So, all right, let's refill. Uh, we're not going to be spraying herbis. Uh, uh, a thousand liters is what it was. Uh, I'm just going to go with a full tank here because I think that's probably going to be the most beneficial. And with canola. Let's check our canola. What does canola like in terms of herbicide? Canola A. Da, 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 da. Herbicide A. Oops, actually we can't move away from this yet. Herbicide A. Uh, so, we want AA, so that's a double dose. So that's weed prevention as well. So for the next couple days, it'll also protect our our crop, which is good. And Kirovitz, you're in the way again. Let's move you out of the way. Technically, what I probably should do, actually, is I probably should uh, get the Kirovitz selling some stuff. Actually, I don't know why, but um, the uh, MH contracting mod, the one that allows you to just sell without actually having to. Uh, let's do this. Uh, how come that's not showing up? I can't see anything. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see here. So what we'll do is we'll do a headland around the outside first. Actually, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's do a headline first. I don't know. There's always a better way to do it. And I'm, <laughs> you guys can let me know in the comments if there's a better way. Mm, coffee. All right, let's get this done. I almost feel like we should get a bigger sprayer because the number of times we've had to spray. All right, engage. <laughs> For those people who got that reference, that was totally Star Trek. All right, so. Canola likes herbicide A, but not herbicide B, which is interesting because we can't do much about that. So our productivity, unfortunately, of our cows is very low because they've been eating straw. 
Although it's one thing that's a bit strange. I wish that you, this would I would take into consideration. Is like because I have a pasture there, that'd be kind of cool if they took that into consideration, with a, in terms of productivity. Like that would be kind of cool. But unfortunately, I don't. I don't know how that would work. Like I don't know if that's possible within the Giants engine. Um, but that would be pretty interesting if it were possible. So. I did see, uh, I've seen a couple people post uh, a couple mods for uh, row crop tractors now. Um, I suppose that's my, that might be because of the, uh, that might be because of the soil mod, I don't know for sure. I don't know the real reason behind it, but it's probably for row crops, I'm, I'm assuming, but not everybody, uh, it's not always the case. I know in 2013 we had, uh, there was quite a few mods that had, uh, the possibility to use whoops the possibility to use uh, care wheels when doing things so perhaps that's part of the reason why as well I don't know yep there's a lot quite a little bit more weeds than I thought there were actually to be honest with you I didn't realize there were that many weeds let's just take the GPS route here yeah, there's actually quite a few more reads than I thought, because there's ones there, there's a few there, there's a few there. Uh, because in this field down here, we never put any prevention, we never put any uh, spray down for the prevention. It was only in the very first field, so that's the reason why we're, we are running into so many weeds this time around. So, But I think, I'm just trying to, I was thinking about the far silo bond. I don't know the way it works. I don't know if it, uh, I don't know if I can put the, if I don't blanket the chaff in the bunker, does it rot? That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, because if it rots that way, then that'll be a problem for me. But if it doesn't, then what I can do is a bit cheeky, and uh, I can just put the chaff from our field. Uh, there we go. From our field, straight into the bunker right away, and then put potatoes on top. So. I always forget the order. I always say it's 10 to 40% chaff, but I think it's 10 to 40% potatoes. Farmer Beavis always corrects me on that when we're on TeamSpeak together. I don't know why I always forget, but what happens is it's, it's the translation from German to English because we discovered this one day. We're like, I'm like, well, why, why do I keep thinking it's this? And he's like, okay, what does it say in English? And then I told him and he's like, okay, it's the translation. So Apparently, it's because the translation is not as good as it should be. All right, let's turn this off real quick and get this lined up properly. Because we'll be more efficient now. That's good, right there. Excellent. We'll be as efficient as possible now. So it looks like one full tank might actually not be enough for this whole section. I might need to start using the, uh, the front tank as well. Uh, but we're, we're gonna find out in a second here. Luckily, it doesn't take too long to actually uh, to actually spray the field, but it's another thing that you just have to do. So, all right, and let's turn around here, and there we go. Excellent. So it's funny because it's one of the. <laughs> this is one of those things where you could actually. I should set up course play to do this now. Now the number of times I've actually had to do this, I should really set up course play to do it. The biggest thing, of course, is going to be making sure you get it. Um, making sure it uses the right kind of herbicide, and I don't think. I don't think that course play has taken that in consideration at this particular time. It may in some of the newer developer versions, but I haven't upgraded to a new developer version in a while, so I haven't noticed anything, any big changes, so perhaps that's the reason why. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna be just a bit low. And the other, th the other thing that is a bit strange is because the way course play works is it'll there's only one type of fertilizer I think it'll refill that, and I think it's only going to be the base kind, which is the MPK. Uh, that's the way it used to be, at least. So if I try to go back with course play and refill with this AA type, it actually won't do it. And maybe it will now. I, honestly, I'd have to double check because I haven't tried that in a while. But 
It used to be in 2013 that if you tried to get core split to go refill the same type it that's in there, it wouldn't do it um, because it can only refill on like a MPK, which is like the in-game fertilizer sort of thing. So I think that was the case at least. But it was one of those odd things. Maybe one tank will be enough. It's good to know. All right. Let's get this. It's funny. I've been following the. Uh, I've been following the. Uh, the what am I call it? The GitHub uh, page for Soil Mod, and there's one guy on there who actually wants to use. He wants to use the lanes mod, which is basically a mod that in increases the amount of realism because whenever you drive over the crop, it'll leave a, a mark basically uh, to increase the realism to like you know as, as much as possible basically. And the funny thing is, because with that and the soil mod, it's like you basically your wheels cultivate the ground. Is that that's how it works as as far as I remember at least. So it's kind of funny uh, when he talks about uh, when he talks about it because he's like. It's like how is I gonna, how am I gonna get this to work and all this kind of stuff? So you can actually get rid of the soil mod HUD if you'd like. Uh, you just hold down Alt and I. There we go. Let's do the last little pass here. And I don't know if we're gonna have enough. Ooh, maybe just, just. I don't know if I'm more efficient or if Course Play's more efficient, but. Hard to say. We'll see. This is the last pass here, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, the guy's trying to get uh, the lanes mod to work with the soil mod and see how it works together, but it's very odd. It's kind of an odd combination, so watch this. So there's a little strip right here. Oh, that's a pretty long strip, too. Mm. Just debating whether I should... Uh, We probably should. And it's like, ah, oh, should I? Should I not? So, watch this. So when I go back, this is the same thing that would happen with course play. So as you can see, we don't have any type specified. But if I go back to the tank and fill up, what's going to happen is it's going to refill at the base type, which is the MPK. So what you need to do is you would need to set it up so there's a weight there it's, you have to set up a little differently only because the way course play works and the way soil mod works because if you spray a type that uh, if you spray a type that's not right let's say you'll run into problems so like right now oopsie what will happen is course play would just drive around it would pick up NPK and what would happen is uh, you wouldn't be using the right time so I was looking I was using double A so that's that's the problem you'll run into if you're not careful. So you'll need to set it up a little bit differently, just so there's like a, just so you don't run into a situation where you're spraying the wrong type. Because if you do that with a soil mod, you're definitely gonna run into problems. You will definitely have crops that will wither. You'll definitely have crops that won't mature on time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so all right. So this was the last little strip right here somewhere. Let's unfold these arms while we're driving. Oh, there it should be. Excellent, sweet. Let's check on this guy. This guy can go again. This is what. I, this is the one nice thing about these cherry trees is that every single time I uh, progress time one day, I still have I have lots of extra, well, a little bit of extra money. And I think there's actually a sell point or a placeables. I want to say I don't know if I have it. Don't know if I have it specifically, but there is a sell point. Uh, da, 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 da. There is a sell point that's more like a, I don't know, you call it an upsell basically. So it processes the cherries and I think it turns it into jam. Uh, I don't think I have it. No, 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 no. Doesn't look like I have it, but there is one that does that. So you can kind of improve your the quality of your of what you're doing. Oops, there we go. Let's get the last little bit down here. Uh, so it does actually improve the quality. So it actually you, you get a higher price for it, but Two grand's not bad for every single day. Technically, what I should do is I should put more trees so I go above what we're actually. Ooh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Now I think about it. 
All right, folks, this will be the last thing I'll do in this episode, and then we'll come back and see how things progress in the next episode. Let's finish that little part off there. Bonus. What I should do is I move, almost, maybe I should take this whole thing out as well. Nah, I kind of like the bushes, though. Alright, so that'll be it for me for today, folks. My name's Ian Robson. It's been an episode of Farming Simulator 2015 coming at you from the new bear farm. Catch you guys later.